You're listening to ND Radio Live. 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 A lot of these celebrities are paid puppets. And I think Ricky Smiley dress might be too tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A Ricky Smiley dress and thongs might be too tight. How is this dude scolding everybody who black trying to force them to vote for Kamala? Ricky, do you not know we can see, bro? I don't know if your thongs, that you you wore too many dresses and wigs, Ricky. And I don't mean to disrespect you, but you, I feel disrespected. And I don't like how stupid you sound. Because why are you making it about Trump and this fake black lady when there's Cornel West on the ticket? People can vote for Cornel West. You can't just say stupid shit like, if you don't vote for, if you saying you not with Kamala, that means you with Trump. Ricky Smiley decided that he wanted to throw his hat into the ring and hold black people accountable for not supporting Kamala Harris or for openly voicing their displeasure with Kamala Harris. I don't want to be around people that only agree with me for the sake of agreeing with me. I want people to have their own mind to free, three, think freely and then also come up to their own conclusion. I don't even disagree with you if you decide that you want to vote for somebody that I don't agree with. I just want you to be able to substantiate your argument. And so the first mistake that he has is he's already embracing cancel culture and telling people or telling his audience, which we don't care because I don't know who's really checking for Ricky Smiley in the first place. He's telling his audience, block the people that is not supporting Kamala Harris. Block them. Who are you? Who are you to tell somebody to block somebody because they have a difference of opinion in you? Where they do that at? Where they do that at? What kind of nonsense is that in the first place?